Raw Power is known for its excellent highlight recovery tools. Let's see them in action. This image has an obviously overexposed sky. You can't even see the clouds. That's also obvious by looking at the histogram, which has a large spike here. Raw Power also has clipping indicators. These are live indicators that appear next to the word histogram. Clicking on them will show clipping indicators. The first one shows hot and cold pixel indicators. Red for hot, blue for cold. So the sky here is overexposed, and these blue areas indicate pixels that are black, zero in all channels. The red, green, and blue controls here will tell you about clipping per channel, which can be useful if you want to do very, very specific uh, management of exposure in, say, curves. The best way to correct overexposure or recover highlights with raw power is to combine two sliders together. The first one is the boost slider, which is part of raw processing. This is a control that directly affects how Apple's raw engine operates and is critical for recovering highlights. The best thing to do for an image like this is to basically drop boost down to about 50%. Now, it doesn't bring the clouds back, as you can see, but it's actually going to really pay off when we use the recovery slider, which is in tone. As I move that slider about halfway, you can see the clouds come back. Now we get a nice sky. If I click on this button up here, this will show me before and after. So you can see just how much was recovered. So by using the live clipping indicators, the hot and cold pixels, boost and recovery, you can really do remarkable things with your raw images.